a bluegrass outlaw country thing. It's like uh, I always write my songs where they can be played bluegrass and country. So if I need to play them a bluegrass song, they can be played a bluegrass song. If they need to be played a like an outlaw country style where it has drums and lead guitar and everything in it, they can be played that way. Sometimes even have like two different ways of playing them, just depends on the style. I'm hoping to just combine them both to where it's like if you, like it sounds kind of like a bluegrass song, but it also is a country song because it has the drums and, you know, telly, you know, the lead guitar in there, so, which gives it the, uh, the unique style. Not much people do it. Sometimes you'll hear a song like that, you know, just every now and then on an album, but you don't really hear somebody do it make their whole style after that, but I plan on doing that, so. Anyway, here's a song I didn't write. This one is called Master's Bouquet. I don't know who wrote it, but the one I listened to was uh, by BR549, if anybody's ever heard of them. They did a, an album, a bluegrass album with Ralph Stanley, and they had all kinds of different artists, and I never heard the song until I, I never heard that song until uh, I heard that version, so uh, that was the first song I ever heard from them, and, and I loved it. Okay, why don't we give that? Why don't we just go on to a new song? Because I'm really embarrassed right now. <laughs> <laughs> 